In this short video, we're going to review attribute data from within the template. Be sure your database is set to velocity terminals. Navigate to Elements in the Navigator pane. We are going to view data from tank 02. Select Elements, Velocity Terminals, Locations, Montreal, Tank 02 and then the Attributes tab. Select one of the attributes with a price tag next to it. It's the tag icon to the left of the attribute name and does not have a value of point created. Right click on the attribute. In this case, we're going to use the pressure attribute. Then select Trend to display the data. A trend will display the time frame of the trend can be modified to reflect the period of time of interest. If a quick comparison needs to be made, additional attributes can be added to the display. Additional attributes can be added through search functionality by selecting Add Attributes or by navigating back to the viewer and selecting another attribute. We're going to start by selecting an attribute from the same element. In this case, we are selecting Level by right-clicking on the attribute and then clicking Add to Trend. The Trace button at the base of the trend allows toggling attributes on and off. Now let's add an attribute from another element. Start by removing the Level attribute from the trend. Select Add Attributes, and Attribute Search will display. Enter pressure for attribute name, select Tank from the template dropdown, then check Search Sub-Elements, and then finally select Search. A display of all attributes found in velocity terminals with pressure will be seen for that template. Select tank 06 by selecting the line, verification by the line being highlighted, under the location of Tokyo, followed by clicking OK. A second trace should appear in the trend, which will allow easy comparison. Once your comparison is done, you can click close to close the display.